Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make mazes using Adobe Illustrator. In my previous videos I show you how you can make mazes using PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is a very good tool, it's very accessible and, uh, and easy to use. But there are some limits and there are some things that you cannot do in PowerPoint at the moment. And one of the things that you cannot do at the moment is you cannot make curved corners with your lines in PowerPoint. You can do it technically, but you have to alter each corner individually by hand and make it curved. While in Adobe Illustrator, you can do that with just one click and holding a mouse. And uh, that is what we're going to do today. So what you see right now on the monitor, I'm going to show you how you can make mazes as this. Also, I'm going to show you a trick that I personally use to make this illusion of a line going over and under, so over and under each other. And uh, there are a couple of different ways you can achieve this appearance. So let me just zoom in so you see what I'm talking about. So this over and under and over and under uh, appearance of the maze line. There are a couple of different ways you can achieve this. Uh, you can cut portion of the path. You can erase portion of the path. But there is another method that I personally use that for me is much faster and much more efficient. So let's start. First, I want to set my the thickness of my black stroke and the thickness of my white stroke. Now, I already did that because I'm making this mazes for my design store. So all that you see here on the screen will soon be available on my design store and link will be down, down, down below in the description. But I decided I want the maze line out, so the black line to be stroke 23 thickness and in the white one to be 17. So this is completely up to you, you can pick different numbers. Also the dimension of my artboard is US letter, so that is 8.5 times 11 inches. And I want to also make sure that I'm not anywhere close to the margins of the page because this is of course not the end. I want to decorate the maze around. Once I'm finished, I can either, of course, draw the illustrations here directly in Illustrator or I can export this maze as PNG, upload it to Canva and decorate in Canva. But let's first draw the maze. So I decided my stroke is going to be black. So let's change the color of the stroke to black. So double click on this one here on the stroke uh, on the fill and stroke selection and black and also I'm going to change the weight of the stroke to 23 but like I said that's just me also I want cup to be a round cup so I'm going to select that one here in the selection tool and I'm going to select pen pen tool so I can start drawing now I'm going to click with the left key of the mouse once and I'm going to hold shift key for any future anchor point. The reason why I'm going to hold the shift key is right now I'm not holding the shift key. As you can see, I can draw a line in any direction. But if I hold shift key, you see, I can only draw a line at 90 degrees, 45 degrees or 0 degrees. So I only have those three options. And that is what I want to make sure that my line is going straight. So let's draw a couple of lines here I want it to loop so it will loop on top of each other and this is the end so you can double click or click enter to finish so this is my maze path and my solution path now I'm going to draw a couple of dead ends I'm going to start here on the edge of the black once again holding the shift key and now I'm drawing a couple of dead end so this is a dead end and here i can also make another one holding the shift key let's make another dead end here 
and enter to finish it. I believe this is good enough. This is sufficiently complicated to be uh, the maze for, for kids level. And now I'm going to use the direct selection tool. So direct selection tool to select everything. And if I do that, I'm going to get this tool here in every corner. And if I select everything, if I hold, click on this and hold, I'm going to change automatically all the edges and corners of the path in the same radius. So this is something that you cannot do in PowerPoint. You cannot do this. And now, once I'm happy with the angles, I'm going to let go. So that is just the beginning. Let's select everything. Control C to copy. Control V to past. And now I'm going to change the thickness or weight of the stroke to 17. And I'm going to change the color of the stroke to white. And I'm going to now move this exactly on top of the black line. And now, as you can see here, and let's compare it to this one. You see the difference? This is just one big, big block of straight lines. Of course, if you are happy, if you, you also can use this as a maze as well. But let's say you want to make the illusion that the lines are going up and down or below or under each other. So, as I said, you can now use the scissor tools or erase tools to cut small portions of the path, zoom in and do all of that. But the method I use is, once again, I select the pen tool, click once, hold shift, click again, hold enter, and change the weight to 23 and color to black, and also change the cap to butt cap, so the straight one, okay? And now I'm going to select that, copy. Let's select that. Mm. Copy and paste it. And now I'm going to change this portion to 17 and I'm going to change the color to white, okay? And I'm going to move it on top of this one and just to make sure that they are aligned I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to align them using the align tool if you don't see the align tool you can activate it here under window tab and you can click on it to make it visible okay and now we have a problem I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what is the problem I don't know can you see but there is a tiny tiny black line here on the edge. Now, I can see it here and for sure it will be visible when I export this maze as PNG. So I want to avoid that black, thin black line appearing. So I'm going to once again, using direct selection tool, I'm going to click on this white path and I'm just going to extend it a little bit. It doesn't have to be my much, just a little bit. So just so it covers that thin black line that was visible there and that's it and now i'm going to select both of these paths and i'm going to go under object and group them together and i'm going to select them let's select them copy and now we're going to zoom out once we are finished let's zoom out and let's Control V to paste it and look what happens now. Drag it on top of the line. If you want to make sure it is directly above, you zoom in. And that's it. That is how I create illusion of a line going under and over. So let's do that again. Control V because we have that small portion of the path in our clipboard and let's put it here so I want this one to go over once again I can zoom in I'm zooming in using the scroll 
of my mouse. You can also zoom in with uh, going here or control plus. So that is how you can zoom in. Let's move it a little bit here. Come on. It's okay. And let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is going to be the next one. Control V. Now, in this case, I don't want it to loop like this. I want it to loop in the other direction. So this line is on top. And for this, I'm just going to go here under properties and I'm going to rotate this small portion of the path by 90 degrees. And once again, I'm going to align it with path. Come on. Let's zoom in. Okay. And let's see, do we have anything else that we need to overlap? We do not have anything. This is it. And that's it. And that is how you make the illusion of a line going under or over or below, however you want to call it, uh, for your mazes. And you can make it as complicated as you want uh, and or as easy as you want. So this is another example. This is another example. Let's go down. You see this one. So literally you see this one. Literally you have various options in Adobe Illustrator. So I just wanted to show you something that it's not possible at the moment uh, achievable in a PowerPoint and that is this corner oval, corner rounded corner edges and for these kind of mazes I have to use Adobe Illustrator and I use Adobe Illustrator the way I just showed you. If you have any questions ask me down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you in next video.